common solution I use in chemistry and even in biology is lime water. And that can be made by taking calcium hydroxide and dissolving that in water. One local source of carbon of uh, calcium hydroxide is what is called Septabs powder. This is available in hardware stores and you can just take some of that powder which you find inside the box in the plastic bag and take a scoopful of that and put that into a bottle, a juice bottle. The actual amount is not critical. Then we just take some tap water and pour tap water into here. Put on the cap and then just shake as well. And you get a rather milky suspension of calcium hydroxide in water. When we let that stand, the excess calcium hydroxide will settle down to the bottom, leaving us with a clear solution of calcium hydroxide solution, which is what you see in this bottle, which I prepared earlier. You could just let it stand overnight, and you then have this clear solution. Note the label on the box. Caution, prolonged contact with wet skin may cause burns. Contains hydrated lime or calcium hydroxide. This material is used in septic systems to keep the septic bed active and clean. I'll now take a small amount of the calcium hydroxide solution and pour that into a test tube. And you notice that the material that I've poured in here is clear. Then I'll take a straw and blow into the solution. And as I blow, you'll notice that the solution turns cloudy. This cloudiness is due to the presence of the carbon dioxide in my breath reacting with the calcium hydroxide in the water as seen in the following chemical equation which I'll do on the board. So we have carbon dioxide, which is in my breath, present as a gas, combining with the calcium hydroxide, which is the lime water, reacting then to give calcium carbonate, which is a white precipitate, making the solution cloudy, and water as a second product. So carbon dioxide in my breath reacts with the lime water to form a white precipitate of calcium carbonate which makes the water turn cloudy and this is a positive test, a common test for carbon dioxide. We'll be using that in some of the other demonstrations as well.